Hi, my name is Sky, and you're watching Blue Review. Welcome to a new episode of Blue Review. I'm Alex Sholobo. And I'm Brett. School year may be winding down, but some of our athletes are still working hard to represent Taylor well. Wrestling is competing at State today and tomorrow. They had a send-off a few days ago to wish them luck. Baseball played this past Saturday and earned a playoff spot. Congrats to them and good luck in the playoffs. Each year, Taylor selects a teacher that has gone above and beyond for their students. For 2020 to 2021, Taylor's Teacher of the Year is Mr. Shemek. We recently had the chance to speak with him about this prestigious award. Uh, my name is Mr. Shemek. So this year I've been teaching, I um, uh, have an equine science class, a wildlife class, management class, um, small animal management class, and also I teach the principles of, principles of agriculture. Um, I studied in animal science, also I have a degree in ag leadership, also a minor in public education with a minor in wildlife and rain management. Uh, what got me into in teaching is um, I grew up in an agriculture uh, community, but most of all I showed goats and lambs. But when I got to uh, my ag classes, um, I had great uh, ag teachers growing up, and so they inspired me even more to compete in FFA contests. And I like the competition part, and but also to, to take the knowledge that we learn in class and then compete in a high level. I loved it, and so uh, that gave me the opportunity to pursue this career. When I, I first started teaching, um, I, eight years ago here, actually here at James B. Taylor High School, so I've been lucky to be here with great students, great uh, faculty, and most of all, a great administration, and wonderful teacher partners. So, I'll break down each class in the principal of agriculture class. Um, currently, actually, they're growing their own garden. Uh, they take time to water um, and take a lot of effort to uh, make sure they have uh, great vegetables at the end of the year. I'm also, they learn about animal science, but they learn about different types of uh, uh, livestock breeds. Um, but also this is where I get the time to, to um, uh, tell the students about our FA program, which they learn about public speaking, and learn but everything they learn in class and compete in a competition level, which they have a chance to win awards. Um, actually, but last week, our ch uh, kids won uh, $7,000 in scholarships. And so the chance to, to win money, win awards, is a great opportunity for kids to learn in the principal of agriculture class. Also, I teach equine science, which they learn about the um, horse industry. Also, they have a chance to learn the, about horse breeds. Uh, my wildlife management class, they have a chance to uh, get their uh, hunter certification and their boater certification. And also, at the end of the year, they get to make the fishing poles and we'll go fishing at the end of the year, which the kids are pretty excited about. 
And in my small MM management class, uh, this is a chance to, uh, opportunity for the students to learn about um, uh, all about cats, dogs, all kind of small animal management, which they actually bring to school and they kind of go over how they take care of their animals at home. And so they give a, a great opportunity for them to uh, show the what, how they take care of their animals at home. And also, um, we take one in, uh, care of one in class. Um, in the past, I've had hedgehogs, guinea pigs, hamsters. Uh, we currently have a small mouse right now. So uh, they have, this is a great opportunity for students to learn about small animal management. And uh, so those are my classes. It's that bittersweet time of year again. Sweet because summer's right around the corner, but bitter because before we can enjoy turning our alarm clocks off, we must first get our EOCs and AP testing out of the way. To help us ensure that we are as prepared as possible, our own Spencer Lay has gathered some information and testing tips that should help us ace that test. Getting ready for the EOCs and the AP tests can be pretty nerve-wracking. Who's taking what? When and where is my test? These are things that I can explain with a few easy steps so you can feel more confident and well prepared for your test. First things first, you need to know when your AP exam is. Be sure to check the College Board website or the Taylor website to see when your exam is. But teachers are your best friend. They'll probably know for you. On the night before the test, make sure to get a good night's rest. And then on the day of the exam, be sure to bring a bottle of water and a snack with you to the testing room. On the day of the exam, you'll come to this competition gym and take your test. Feel free to dress comfortably. Just make sure it's school appropriate. During the test, time can fly. Be sure to keep an eye on the clock and even wear a watch if that helps. Most importantly, be confident. You've been preparing all year for this. You got this. Thanks, Spencer. Now let's talk about something serious. 11 of our senior men competed a couple weeks ago for the one and only title of Mr. Mustang. Catch it? Don't worry. We took a camera and here are some of the highlights. Taylor High School 2021 Mr. Mustang Best Eyes Contest is 
Mr. Abraham Brown. Yeah. Winner of the 2021 Mr. Mustang Best Smile Contest goes to... Josh Kennedy. Very impressive, I think. Congrats to our new Mr. Mustang, Josh Kennedy. Seniors also recently competed in Taylor's annual senior versus faculty volleyball game. Led by Dr. Stone, the faculty faced off against a determined team of senior men and women. Let's see how this turned out. Come on! Can teachers never give students a break? <sighs> Better luck next year. And lastly today, it's what you've all been waiting for. Dr. Stone squares off with another group of students in. Can she do it? Today, she visited with our cheerleading squad. Let's check out how that went. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Stone. Today, can she do it? I'm going to try and attempt to do some cheerleading. They're gonna try to teach me some things, so Let's see if I can, in fact, be a cheerleader. The first thing they tell me, you're gonna go in a straddle. All right, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, stretching, I'm gonna need that. Literally, this is as far as I'm gonna get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six, eight, 10, Four. Eight. Nine. Nine. that's confusing counting like that. <laughs> Man, y'all aren't starting off easy at all. All right. Oh, I get it, five. All right, I got it. Man, I should have brought a ponytail holder. All right. Oh, I did it. <laughs> All right, let's try this. This might be more like a knee touch. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. All right, here we go. Y'all didn't tell me you were going to put your legs out like that. I thought you were just jumping straight up in the air. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> I know y'all have to put this on a thing, but this is really giving me a wedgie. Like, I'm like, <laughs> golly. Think of how that would go. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's do it again. Yes. 
So I want to know the point where I can be the flyer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. You don't want me as a flyer. My God. I'm definitely a base, not a flyer. All right, what are we doing? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to show you a thigh stand. So it's pretty simple and easy to learn. So you'll watch, you'll watch Claire. Okay. So That's going to be me. So you want to make sure your feet are like lined up together and that your thighs are like parallel to the ground. Gotcha. And then you want to make sure you're hugging her really tight. Okay. Stand down. That's it. All right. I can do that. Yeah. Heck yeah. I think. <laughs> I say that. All right. All right. Oh, my Lord. One, two. Oh, go. One, two. You can let go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like holding on for dear life. <laughs> All right. What's next? Oh, yeah, why? Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Okay. All right. I'm ready. T A T A Y T A Y for our Taylor Mustangs. T A T A Y T A Y T A T A Y T-A-Y-L-O-R, Taylor Mustangs! Yeah! Woo! Oh my gosh, okay. you in the face. <laughs> oh, my God. Like oh, yeah. Like and then you're just swing back and forth. Okay. Three, two, one. Chicky, chicky, check. Get your spirit in effect. Represent. Uh-oh. Represent. Uh-oh. Chicky, chicky, check. Get your spirit in effect. Represent. Uh-oh. Represent. Uh-oh. Mustangs in the house. Say what? Mustangs in the house. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That was awesome. I love it. All right, so spring game, I'll come out there, do some cheers. I can be a base and hug your leg. I can definitely do that. All right, thank y'all. Thank you. Thanks, it's fun. So tell me, who here has been like cheering their whole lives? Since kindergarten. Since kindergarten? Then like KYF. KYF, yeah. KYF. Okay, what, t what team did y'all um, uh, cheer for? Okay. All right. And do y'all uh, cheer outside, like in a in a in another organization? I used to. But none of y'all do. Y'all just cheer here. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So you have to compete with the outside people. All right. Yeah. So what are you most excited about for next year? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I just want to thank y'all for all that you do for the school and. The amazing way you represent our school, and I'm looking forward to next year to the pep rallies and the football games and all of it. So thank y'all for having me. Great job, cheerleaders, and nice effort, Dr. Stone. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on.